Hey Lightweights and welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, this is going to be the second exploration video of the series. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm going to try to do them throughout the series every couple chapters or so, um, just because there's so much cool, small, hidden gems throughout the game that I really want to explore. Um, a lot of you in the comments gave me things that you wanted me to try to find. So what I did is I had Mr. Light, who is probably one of the biggest Red Dead fans out there. Um, he always reads through my comments first, just to make sure there's no spoilers and deletes any if there's spoiler material in there. Anyways, I'm going on a tangent. Um, he has been kind of keeping a log of the things you guys want me to find. And so he's been helping me out with this exploration video. And you might've noticed last video that there was a lot of markers on the map. Um, those are places that he says I need to go. So they might be things that you had commented about. They might be just other side things that he uh, found cool. Um, just things of that nature. So I don't know what they are, but I know where to go. Um, we did that same type of strategy for the last exploration video and it worked really, really well. Uh, a couple of you weren't a fan of that. You wanted me to come across things naturally and organically. Um, unfortunately, it's just not feasible to do that while recording. So when I'm playing on my own time, it can happen. But when you're recording, you really have to have a game plan of where you're going, what you're doing, because especially in a game like this, that's so huge. I could spend an entire day recording and not get any content that I could use. So um, I really wanted to make sure that I was using my time wisely. As you all know, I work a full-time job and I have to record everything that I produce for the week on the weekend. Um, so I just have to be smart about how I use my time. So this is kind of like the best way to do that. So I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Um, I don't know what I'm finding for any of the markers. I just know where to go um, and I kind of strategized with him the best order in which to do the markers. So um, it's a little bit easier, I hope. All right, I'm gonna stop talking now because I've just gone on a very long tangent. Um, you know the drill though, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when to post. You all right, girl? in the woods action here. <clears throat> got some gators. What? shoot it. Did I get it? I don't think I can skin it in the water though. That's the only problem. A lot of gators in there.
the heck? Shakespeare? Is that you? Got an artist living in here. the table. It looks like there's writing on there, but what it says I could not tell you. Somebody just whistled out there. Or is that a bird? I don't know. I'm freaked out, you guys. <laughs> there once was a man called Jimmy Brooks. Jimmy Brooks? Didn't we get a pen from him? who was always running into crooks till one chased him down and he had to talk his way around that Jimmy isn't dumb as he looks. What do you know about Jimmy Brooks? There's really nothing here. Is there something I can look at? I offered you happiness or two gentlemen. You made your choice. What is this place? The water is black with venom. So confused. I don't know if the painting's not done or if it's modern art. I don't know. Okay. It's freaking weird in here. Oh, we got some more over here. I know you. The moon will shine on in the darkness. From the snow to the cave, I gave everything for art and I learned too much and nothing at all. This is weird, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. It's freaky. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. This storm, you guys, it's freaking me out. Oh, I can't skin it. Yes. Okay, let's get the flick. Flick? <laughs> let's get the freak out of here. This is not a good place to be. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, we're 
stuck. Stuck. It's a big ass pelt. done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. There you go. Oh, thank God. Oh, well, I have waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I, I wish I could give you some money or, well, you know, I might have something of interest. You know Ansberg? Well, some la di da rich folks bought up a little cabin up north of there. Very remote. You get me? You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? Yeah. I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. Thanks. Okay. You have to look like Chinese people. You won't see any more of my money. It's only temporary. This will all be sorted out soon, I promise. Hey, the whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. All right, sure. calm down. Let me see rats. what I can do. Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. I'll wait out here. Okay. I don't think this is what the marker was for, but, you know. Yes! That's it! <laughs> Did you hear that? I'm sorry, rats. I gotta... Oh, oh. Yes! Kill those bastards! Why would I want to pick it up? So those of you who watched my playthrough for A Plague Tale know that used to have pet rats. Well, a pet rat. His name was Conrat. And he was very cute. And he was super smart. Ooh, thanks, mister. Take this. Ooh, you earned every cent. Well, thank you. I killed worse. Got okay, anyways, to the marker. I drink from the maiden, and I live again in the dead, the heart of the ring of blood. So you guys were talking about a vampire. I'm gonna assume that that's what this is. Okay. Weird. So sorry. <laughs> You're going to be in a better place. Now stay calm. Breathe deep and repent. Or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold. The calm removal of this man's existence! <laughs> In incredible! He's nearly dead! So humane! Ah! <laughs> 
His life may have been troubled, but his passing is peaceful. Professor, that ain't peaceful. <laughs> Somebody shoot me, please. Huh. Let's get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. I agree with you, I sir. I think it's mighty fine. <laughs> okay. Is he actually dead? Is the professor dead? Okay. No. Professor? No. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, don't you drag right. me into this. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> That's I not like what I was expecting. My God. Okay. I feed again the blood of life. The circle has begun. Bones under the perfect star. Hey there, sir. Masferatu with. <coughs> Excuse me. Masferatu with Dominica will become mortal again. I hope this actually leads to seeing a real vampire. Oh, there it is. On sweetest of napes, may your blood remain forever on my lips. Six there. Like some crazy person pulled a stick of dynamite All in the saloon last night. Be before oh, the God, list of Satan. Oh, sweetest of napes, may your blood remain forever on my lips. Six there will be before the lust is sated. Definitely not what I yep. said. Oh, now I see it. Well, <laughs> anyway. Oops. Oh, a pentagram. With one long kiss, I draw the life from her and await the outpost of advancing day okay so I'm gonna assume that this last one is the actual vampire and if that's the case one of you told me it needed to be nighttime so receive mail Invitation from Mayor Lemieux. How do you say that? Monsieur Kilgore. It was lovely to make your acquaintance at the residence the other night. You meet so many people at these kinds of functions, it is hard to keep track. I did notice, however, that you were near my study when poor Pierre had an accident and some documents simply disappeared. Now, I have spent far too long in politics to make accusations wildly, but just long enough to know when I am owed a Locals small favor. Here are nice, and Perhaps some are real your gung-ho frontier don't ask spirit questions, and my especially cold, if they come through to just pay off a bounty. could work quite well together. Indulge me in a meeting, at least. Come to the back of the mayoral residence any night you wish. Knock on the door, and my assistant, Jean-Marc, will let you in. I hope to see you soon, your newest friend, Henry. Or is it Henri? Thank you. Girl. Girl. Hi there, mister. Hello, sir. I always Buy say, manners Read cost nothing. Read my book. Do oh, exactly back. what I say and you'll be rich. Rich? Oh, my God.
What? So, you found me. <laughs> oh, he actually looks like a vampire. Hey, what are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> what, you're a vampire? I have been called many names over the centuries. Now go. Or I'll feed on you, too. What's antagonizing? You're a goddamn idiot. I'll suck you dry. At least try, five. What? Looks like there's new stuff in my journal I haven't read. This time, Albert Mason seemed obsessed by getting eaten by alligators. Again, he managed to survive much more by luck than by judgment. I went to an art gallery. Seems fine and fancy living. Ain't quite so different from life in the wilderness, robbing stagecoaches was an exhibit an exhibition of paintings by the artist I met a couple of times Charles something rather French fella seems he'd been doing more than painting his models their husbands weren't so keen on the liberties he'd been taking with the subject matter whole thing descended into a brawl had to help him escape you never know who you're going to meet down a dark alley I guess it still saved it, even though it killed me. Your money, mister! Now! Someone! <laughs> oh, thank you, mister. Here, have this for my gratitude. Please. Please. Just let me be on my way. Appreciate it. You be careful now. Sound and ease breeds sickness. So much for the future. Hey there, girl. Hello. Oh, did I suck out the poison from hey. your leg? I was 
just talking about you. How a complete stranger saved me from certain demise. A fine thing to do, helping a feller out like that. I hoped I'd run into you again. I'd really like to pay you back in some way, you know? Hey, I, I got plenty of credit at this store here. You know, you pick out anything you want, free of charge. All right. Sounds good. Cool. Oh, thank you. That's real nice. One what do you good need, partner? Deserves another. Better We've got outside. A got his own trap, yeah, his that. Own trap. <clears throat> that was. He said he'd cover oh, me if I put something on his tab. I'm the reason he still got you that leg. That oh, that, that idiot. A few folks around here would rather you left him there. <laughs> but hey, if that's what he wants, <laughs> take a look around. Anyways, I'd best be making tracks. Good choice. I'll let him know. Okay, this must be uh, some more from the serial killer. This guy or girl, I guess, doesn't just kill them. They torture them along the way, apparently. person. <gasps> Arthur. Oh my god, we're standing on the head. We're standing on the head. Oh, that oh, poor guy. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, this is so sick, Tran. expected to see but it was not that I was also told there was something in the floor But you're 
horse is fucking. You want a damn prize or something? Cut me loose! <laughs> Just drop her like a sack of potatoes. Thanks, mister. Don't know how many times I tried to leave that crazy bastard, but he always came after me. I'm glad he's dead. Uh, sure. Okay, you're welcome. And it looks like we have another serial killer right here. God damn hillbillies. Oh, get up the hill. Oh god. Behold. Nasty. Uh, making a point with you. Uh, huh. Hey guys, let's look at the map. All three pieces of the map have been collected. Use the map to locate the killer's hiding place. So there's a bridge, a destroyed house, and a lock. Can you find me? I feel like we're in criminal minds. Um, you're beautiful. Thank you for following me around. Talking like that in front of a lady is exactly what I'd expect from you. My friend! You there! Yeah? Hello? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child! I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. Shoot one off mine instead. Uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be <coughs> spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. Trying to show off the lady? Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. Okay. Shoot, sir. I don't want to mess this up. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please. This oh creature Lord. is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Please, put us out of our misery. <laughs> Now 
I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you oh kill God, the beast. Crazy. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Ellen! Silence, you blackguard. Sir, shoot the wretch. You're deranged. Dad. Shoot away, sir. <laughs> Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Too much, too much. Nope, oh, she loves the attention. <laughs> okay, that was odd. Okay, girl. girl. Pretty close, though. Oh, <laughs> hey there. How's it going? Well, oh, no, they still have a lot it to ain't go. going at all. We're broke. We're about ready to call it quits, to be honest with you. Listen, I... I, I, I hate to ask, but... but uh, is there any way that you could help us get the supplies that we need to finish? Sure. <clears throat> All right. Here you go. But you best not be playing me for a fool. Oh, I ain't, mister. I swear. Seriously? Who gives away it that better much? be beautiful when it's done. Excuse me, sir. You can't think this shithole is worth anything. I don't care if we just give it away at this point. I'm trying to be nice, and you're gonna be a shithead. Come on, girl. Honestly. Oh. Easy. Oh, this is the final serial killer thing. I'm glad he just does the combo automatically <laughs> so that we don't have to look it up. Oh shit, maybe I should get a gun. Oh god. hands <laughs> dear mr. editor I must say I am alarmed by the paucity of coverage your August journal has dedicated to the recent killings in the region the perpetrator of these crimes is clearly a man of great intelligence power and no small amount of cunning he presents a clear and present danger to all readers of your publication and most probably to the writers of it as well I would suggest you begin to treat him and his creations with the reverence that they deserve. God help us all. Yours, a concerned citizen. Dear Mr. Edmund, what has gotten into you of late? Our dinners together, which were once such a pleasure to me, have become a terrible strain. You appear at times tired, distracted, febrile, and agitated, and sometimes all those things at once. It was a mistake for you to have ever moved out of home. While I approved of your decision to forego marriage in order to spend more time with me, I did not envis envisage it would be this kind of company. Maybe a wife is what you need after all. 
Your kindly neighbor has informed me of your comings and goings from your rooms at all hours of the night. Does this mean there is a close friendship your mother doesn't know about? I hope your taste in companionship has improved these past years, but I shall keep an open mind. I should like an explanation of all this from you presently. Your loving and concerned mother. P.S. I hope you're eating and sleeping and taking the laudanum Mr. Finkles gave you. That should improve your nerves somewhat. Was this all oh my God. nasty surprise? Or maybe it's both. Maybe it is a nasty surprise, even though you knew I was going to be here. Which is it? You should think about that. Save yourself thinking about what's about to happen now I'm not going to lie it's not going to be nice and fun I mean it'll be fun for me but it won't be nice for you him to die <laughs> why wouldn't I shoot him that, that doesn't make any sense <gasps> have you come for me or was this all nasty surprise or maybe it's both I better get it right this maybe time. it is a nasty surprise anymore. even though you knew I was going to be here Skip. Which is it? <laughs> you should think about that. Save yourself thinking about what's about to happen. Now. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be nice. And fun. I mean, <laughs> it'll be fun for me but it won't be nice for you okay, what do we do okay creepy right now. I was not expecting that. <laughs>
related or something ah, you like good, that. Girl. Sheriff. Found that fella you were looking for. Which fella? Ugh. I'm not giving you a cell until you introduce this boy. Now put him down there. Fella been... been... Well, it ain't nothing nice. A lot of folk disappeared over the past few years. This sick son of a bitch, well, he ain't right in the head. That's so. Uh, head over to the cellar. Of that broke down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, well, come on, Eve. My name is Edmund. Edmund Lowry Jr. And you'll remember that, my friend. I'm sure I shall. Well, you are a frightening fella. Well, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. And I'll get you a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, come as you be. Am I allowed to shoot him now? Like I said, have someone head up to his cabin. I uh, think he killed quite a few. Uh, oh, there's a lot of sick bastards out there. Right here. Here. Here's some money for your trouble. Thank you, sir. Now we gotta get this <laughs> body out of here. Oh, my God. Where's a deputy when you need one? here. Can I go in? Frodo? Bilbo? Anybody home? This is so cute! I want to live in a hill home. Oh god, don't hurt yourself. Ah. Jump! Ooh, ooh. Um. 
What? Are we in Rome? Weird. What did that do? Okay. Just gonna go around the circle. They have missing fingers and stuff. Does that mean anything? confused. What did that do? has to be for something. Okay, guys. So, I've just been aimlessly pushing buttons for a really long time. So, I cheated. I looked up what I needed to do. And it says I need to push the ones for the statues that have the fingers that are prime numbers. Now I'm a teacher, but I teach history. I know nothing about math, which means I had to Google what a prime number was, because I haven't talked about it since, like, elementary school. And it's a number where you can't get it by multiplying it with another number. So, like, the only way you can get two is two times one. So two would be a prime number. So I didn't look at which statues I needed. I just looked up how to solve it. So it still might take me a while. <laughs> All right, but I'm going to go first person for this. Oh, there's a penis in my face now. OK, so this one definitely has two fingers. Oh my god, I don't like being first person. That's funny, because I don't mind it with other games, but that just made me dizzy. Okay. That has four, so two times two is four. That's not a prime number. I think that has five. Three and one is that two on the other. So that would be a prime number. Five. Eight. Three. Definitely a prime number. 
Okay, this guy has four, but he's missing an arm. So if I were a game developer, I'd be a jerk and have that arm be somewhere. So I'm going to skip that and go back because there's probably an arm that I have to find. What was that? Three. And three, so six. That is not a prime number. Okay, let's try to find this arm. Looks like three fingers. Okay. And that's four, so that'd be seven. That would be a prime number. <laughs> woo woo! Math, people. Shit! Don't know who made that, but I appreciate you. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for exploration video number two. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. <laughs> there was one part where I almost rage quit because I was so frustrated. I was almost in tears. I was so angry. Um, so obviously I told you how I thought that if I killed the, what is it? The eugenics guy, that stupid racist asshole that I hogtied and put in the barn, um, or the shed or whatever it was. I was told that if you shoot him, nothing happens. And then someone said, if you shoot him, they thought you gained on her. So when I was riding around San Denis, I thought I found him. So just shot him. It wasn't him. I killed some poor person that was just trying to sell me books on how to be successful. I feel really guilty. But anyways, there was karmic justice because every lawman in the city was out to get me. Killed Siri. Killed me. Autosave screwed me over. When I reloaded, Siri was still dead. So I had to reload from a previous save, which luckily had been from the last video that I had played right beforehand. So I had to, I didn't redo the shack because I think he wrote some stuff in the journal, but there wasn't really anything that I got from there that I felt I needed. I might go back there sometime off camera, but I didn't go back there. I had to redo all of the stupid quotes on the walls for the vampire. I had to redo um, the professor. So I didn't have to redo a ton, but I was really, really just angry at the situation because that is now the second time that autosave has screwed me over with poor Cirilla. So I was really frustrated. I'm glad I pushed through because I really had an incredible time after that, but I feel like you could see the fumes radiating off me for a little while. So if you could, I apologize. I promise I ended up having a great time. Um, lots of weird stuff in this game. I could probably do like 50 more exploration videos and still not see everything that there is to see. So I hope that you liked it. If you did, let me know. I will continue to do them randomly throughout the playthrough. Um, I think they're kind of fun. Like that serial killer, first of all, scared the crap out of me. Second of all, was just a ton of fun. Like, I don't think I've ever done anything like that in a video game before. Um, the vampire was really cool. Kind of dumb that he one-shot me. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to find him and kill him again. Who knows? <laughs> um, it's cool that the house is still being built. I'll have to remember to check up on that throughout. That little hobbit home was really cute. I don't know. There's just a lot of really cool, small stuff in here. So 
I don't know. I'm enjoying them and I think I'm going to keep making them. Um, I think I'll do the rock carvings off camera and then just record the final interaction when I turn it in. Um, just because that's kind of like the, the dinosaur bones where you don't really get anything out of it other than me drawing in my journal. So uh, I think I'll probably do those off camera. But as always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next one. And as always, thank you so much for watching you guys. Have a great day.